This unit is about applications of electric field and magnetic field. Electric field and magnetic field both can be used to move the charged particles. Today, I am giving lecture on acceleration by electric field. We also have here acceleration by magnetic field. How acceleration works with these fields and then application we will discuss in this unit. In this unit, we will learn acceleration by electric field, what happens when we put charged particles parallel to electric field or perpendicular to electric field, then application of magnetic field in various directions of charged particles. We will study how can we select velocities for isotopes, the method to separate the isotope spectrograph, we will study electron gun, how electron accelerate in the gun, then CRO cathode oscilloscope, its functioning, then mass spectrograph, then accelerators. So many applications we will study in this unit. In this chapter, in this article today, you will learn about basics of electric field, behavior of electric field, impact of electric field on charged particles, and basic concepts about these fields. We already studied electric field. And we have also seen this. How can we say that field is exist near to electric charge? Suppose you place electric charge in a, in a, any play, anywhere in a space and it is at rest, then it may experience a force due to electric field. And the electric field intensity or strength at any point in space is defined as amount of force experienced by positive charge placed at that point. If you place a charge Q anywhere in the space and the force experienced by this charge is F, then electric field is defined as E is equal to F by Q. The unit of force is Newton and unit of charge is Q is Coulomb, then electric field can be written as Newton per Coulomb. Electric field between two parallel plates having a potential difference V volts and separation between these two is D can be written as E is equal to V by D. Actually, this gives the relation between potential difference and electric field. If electric field is there, there must be some potential difference and reverse is also true. If we create a potential difference between the two plates, there must be some electric field. It is always easier to study the electric field with the parallel plates capacitor examples. We 
have already discussed unit SI unit. Electric potential is defined as work done on a positive charge to bring it from infinity, from infinity to that point. This is definition. If you bring a charge from infinity to a particular point, then it is called the energy stored in the form of potential that is called electric potential. And this is defined as V is equal to W by Q. W is the work done, Q is the charge. And of course, we use uh, Joule for work and C is there for Coulomb. Then the SI unit will be Joule per Coulomb. We can also define magnetic field. If a charge is at rest, it experiences only electric field. But when the charge is moving, it also experiences magnetic field. And this is an additional interaction in addition to electrostatic interaction. This interaction is called magnetic interaction. The field by which the magnetic interaction occurs called magnetic field and characterized by magnetic induction vector B. The unit of B, normally we use Tesla and we have already discussed in this unit 2 that Weber per meter square. CGS unit is Gauss and 1 Tesla is equal to 10 to the power 4 Gauss. We have already discussed this. Magnetic field sometimes can also be written as H. This is called magnetic field strength. Magnetic field induction is B and magnetic field strength is H. And this H is defined as B upon mu zero. Ratio of magnetic induction in vacuum to the permeability mu zero. The unit of magnetic strength is ampere per meter. And in CGS generally we use Austed. For magnetic field we have very interesting units. You must learn Tesla, Austed may be asked in exams also. Whenever we keep a conductor of length L and we are passing current I through that conductor and we place this conductor in a magnetic field and the magnetic field is of field density flux density capital B then the magnitude of the force that force will be there the force will be applied on conductor and the force is defined as B I L sin theta. B is the inner your flux, I is the current that already is passing and L is the length of the conductor. And of course theta is the angle between the direction of current and direction of magnetic field. The direction of force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. I think most of you, all of you should know the Fleming's left hand rule. We had discussed this several times in the class. If you stretch three fingers of left hand mutually perpendicular to each other, do this, do this. You can do this, take your left hand and stretch your three fingers manually, mutually perpendicular to each other. The index finger points in the direction of magnetic field. Index finger, first finger after thumb. The mingled middle finger pointed towards the direction of current and thumb towards the direction of force. Using this, you can calculate the directions. It's a very important rule to calculate this. Force on a moving charge in a magnetic field. 
we have discussed current in the magnetic field. Suppose charge Q is moving with velocity V in magnetic field. That force is given as BVL BV sin theta. BQV sin theta. Theta is the angle between direction of motion of charge and direction of magnetic field. The direction of force is given by a Fleming left hand rule we already discussed. As with the Fleming rule, we know the direction is depend on charge also. So, if you have two different particles, suppose positive charge particles and negative particles, then they will move in different places. If there is no charge on the particle, it will move undeflected. It will show you a straight line. But if the charge is positive, you will see the downward direction. If charge is negative, you will see the upward direction. It is very interesting to note. If you are having positive particle or electron, then they will give you different results. We will use these properties some places and we will discuss these applications later on in this unit. We must revise the Laurent force also. If the particle is charged, then there will be an electric field QE. If the charged particle is also moving with velocity V, then it always also experience magnetic field. And the total force is electric force plus force due to magnetic field. This is given by this equation F is equal to Q E plus V cross B. V cross B means this will be perpendicular to both velocity magnetic field and velocity of that particle. Now we have uh, all the rules how the particle behave in only electric field, how the particle behave in only magnetic field. Now we'll study these things one by one. Suppose particle is charged and moving in uniform electric field. You are having two plates, parallel plates. On one first plate, you have given positive charge. And on second, you are having negative charge. And you put a charge between these two plates. If you, you are having two parallel plates, then electric field, the direction of electric field will be from first plate to second plate. And you are having a charged particle which is moving parallel to this electric field. V is proportional to, V is parallel to E. And the particle is having mass M and charge Q. The electron experience a force due to electric field. And this is given by F is equal to QE. Here the minus sign I have put, this is due to negative charge of electron. For positive particle, you can put plus PQE. We also know this according to Newton's second law, F is equal to MA. In Newton's law, F is equal to MA. M is the mass of the particle and A is the acceleration. Now, in our case, the particle is accelerated due to electric field. So, you can put MA is equal to F and this should be equal to minus QE. If you equate these two equations, you will get 
a value of a and this is given by q e upon m in q e upon m you can use voltage also the negative sign here signifies that the force accelerate the particles the force accelerate the electron in a direction opposite to electric field this sign it shows gives you the idea that an electron move opposite to electric field we can also apply laws of kinematics to find other quantities initially you are keeping your particle zero then initial velocity will be zero u u is equal to zero and initial displacement in the beginning there is no displacement so it can be taken as zero and using this velocity of electron at any time can be calculated we know law of equation v is equal to u plus at we know the value of a and u you can put the values to calculate the value of v small numericals can be done on these questions on these problems as we know s is equal to ut plus half a t square kinematic second law you can put the value of u here in the previous from the previous expression and a using this you can also calculate the value of s we also know you can remember the third equation v square is equal to u is equal plus 2s u is 0 put the values you will get the v so what we did here we have started with how electrons can move in parallel to electric field we have calculated with the put f is equal to ma2 f is equal to qe and calculated the value of acceleration and then using laws of equation 1 and 2 and 3 you can calculate distance travel velocities and so on time everything can be calculated these are the methods to calculate various parameters you can also calculate electron time required to travel distance s if t is equal to 2 ms upon qe can be calculated from the equations and you can put the values in place of e you can put v by d both formulas can be used actually the use of formula can depend on your problems a numerical problem if v is given you can use second formula if e is given you can use first formula everything depends on whatever is given i advise you if you are performing many numericals then first note down on left hand side on the paper note down what is given and keep ensure that all are in the same unit then start the question whatever is not given and try to calculate this using formula most of the time direct formulas can be used in it kinetic energy attained by the electron after moving a distance is can be written as half mv square now we have calculated the value of v so can be put here you will get the value the electron gain energy from the electric field which is convert to kinetic energy so if you we put kinetic energy is equal to qv energy gain by motion then we can also calculate the velocity v 
This velocity is called impact velocity or terminal velocity. The velocity acquired by the particle. This value, if we put the value of m and q from for electron here, we will be the value will be this. This gives the idea. Suppose an electron in the energy acquired by an electron when it accepted to 1 volt, the energy will be the energy will be 1 AV and 1 AV can be done as this. So, as a conclusion, in this lecture, we have studied electric field, magnetic field basics, how electric field and magnetic field reacts for charged particle, Laurent force, basic forces, and then we have discussed motion of charged particle in parallel electric field. Using kinematics, using equation of motions, we have calculated many as various, para, various parameters of our charged particles. I suggest all of you to take some numericals to study this. Thank you.